Three signs that you are a seer. You are the chosen one and you are spiritually gifted. These signs are very clear but you don't understand them. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to identify if you are spiritually gifted and also to know if you are a seer, if you are a born seer. If you're new here, you're highly welcome. Don't forget to like, to follow, to share this video out to more people to see this video, to see this revelation. And don't forget to drop your video gift. You are highly blessed. Once you are born, the name that will be given to you will be as an inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Even your parents that gave you the name may not even know. Let me give you an instance. Names like Enoch, Samuel, David, John, they are spiritually inclined names. For example, you bear Ruth, you bear Mary, Sarah. They are what? Spiritually inclined names. So, if you don't work in line with your calling, you'll find it difficult most times. And if you run away from your calling, it is always disastrous. Devil always fights people that have spiritual calling. That's why you see them going into robbery, prostitution, and many more. It's not that they are born to be prostitutes. It is because of the power they carry. The enemies does not want them to achieve that God's plan in their life. So that is number one. The name you bear, the name you bear is very important. Number two, your eyes. You always see things before it happens, right? Some of you will see something today, it will happen tomorrow. You are very powerful, my darling. Do this to get the spirit of interpretation and direction. Get water and speak to it, okay? Now, say that you're going to see clearly. You will see and you will understand. Now, keep it under your bed. In the morning, drink it, use it to wash your eyes. Repeat this exercise if you want to start seeing clearly and also interpret. Number three is your palm. Your palm is the best way to read if you have spiritual calling. Once a baby is born, if your parents are spiritually inclined, they go for palm reading to know his or her calling, destiny line. So if it is bad, they try to change it immediately. So as a seer, your palm is very important because a good spiritually can easily identify it. Some people have the X sign on their palm. Some have the half moon on their palm. So it depends. So it's, it's best for you to know what your palm says about you. I could remember during my own time, my dad always monitored mine. Always. Because palm reading is very deep. So try to check. So now let's talk about how to activate your power. Very, very simple. Very, very powerful. In the, have you gifted this video? Drop your video gift now. If you're enjoying this video, please drop your video gift right now. Now, in the midnight, you have to take your bath. Take your bath in the midnight. Wear your new dress. Wear shoes. Spray perfume. Now, it's time for you to go what? to go to your maker, the God of the universe. You have to look presentable. For example, if you want to go to work, you wear fine clothes. Go to party, you wear fine clothes. Go to history, you wear fine clothes. But if you want to go to God, you wear nonsense clothes. Tattered clothes. No, this time around, don't wear rag to God. Dress like someone that is looking for something from Him. Then, when you are done, go to Him, kneel down to Him and begin to pray. Tell Him that you want your power to be activated. Most of you guys, you run away from your duties. You run away from your spiritual gifts. It can make you run mad. It can make you sick. It can give you untimely death. Because of what? You're not working in accordance to what God has created you to do. If you don't do this, you surely suffer. If you're supposed to become a millionaire, you'll be wretched. That's why you see so, so many people, very, very poor. Poorer than church rats. It's not that they are destined to be poor. No, it is because they are running away from their calling. So if you have a call, why run away from just like it's just like God sending you on an errand? Go and buy me this, go and buy me. That is what is called spiritual calling. If you activate it, you enjoy the powers. Like it comes with ego. 
So why run away? You don't you don't want like that a, a, a um, community or that environmental you know mentality of I don't want to be a pastor. I don't want to be a Dibia. I don't want to be this. I don't want to be that. It has eaten deep into our 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 head that we we tend to think that spiritual gift is something that someone should run away from. Your spiritual gift is very important in your life because that is what defines you. That is what makes you. So if you run away from it, you are just running away from your shadow. And come to think of it, you can never run away from your shadow. So you have to walk in line with what God has created you on earth to do. Now when you are done wearing your fine clothes, you go down on your knees and begin to ask for power. Tell God to energize you. Give you power. Unimaginable power. That you want to start your your, your spiritual journey. That you want to activate your calling. That you want to fulfill your destiny on earth. Then as you're doing this midnight prayer, please try to always read Psalm 19. This Psalm 19 should be done for 21 days. Like when you are done doing this, you have cooked yourself spiritually. That whatever you say stands. If you have bad dream about someone or about yourself and you pray against it, it will be cancelled. If you have a good dream, you pray for the manifestation, it will surely manifest. So guys, that is it. If you want to activate your spiritual calling, you don't not necessarily mean that you need to go, go from one, you know, one church to the other. No. To activate your spiritual calling, you can do it in your bedroom. Like my mother, I will say it. When she finally succumbed to the power of God to use her, she herself locked herself up for some days without food, without water. She was just crying, crying because she learned the hard way. She learned the hard way. So it's better for you to learn now that you have not started experiencing some mighty terrible things. Because if you don't, you will surely suffer it. You will suffer very, very much. So do this for 21 days, reading Psalm 19. Now, after that, the energy that will surround you, yourself, you will feel it. You will feel it so deep that even if you open your mouth and say, it shall be well with you. Anybody, if you enter into someone's uh, business premises, customers will start rushing. Whatever you lay your hands, you will start prospering. Those things that has been like a, a big mountain before you, it will just be like a leveled ground. You will not be asking yourself, so there is enjoyment in this life. So there is peace in this life. So there is joy in this life. So I can live peacefully without fear of anything. So you see what I'm trying to see. Try this particular direction, which I just gave. It's a very big secret. And when you do it, you will surely give God the glory in your life. If you can go for palm reading, please kindly do so. Join our WhatsApp group. The link is on my comment section. Join our WhatsApp group right now so that you'll be able to get quick answers if you drop a comment you don't see uh, answer you come to my whatsapp group you can join through the link on the comment section you can send me a dm on instagram and you join the spiritual whatsapp group make your day be blessed like share and follow this page for more